This is Scientific American's 60 Second Science. I'm Christopher Intagliata. The Greenland High Arctic is a bare, sparse place. Rather than tall trees, it has tundra, ground-hugging vegetation, and rugged Lord of the Rings-style vistas. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's not exactly New Zealand, but kind of, <laughs> kind of similar landscape. Miko Tiusinen is an ecologist at Helsinki University in Finland. The winter season is like six, seven months, so everything basically happens during the short summer season. Including the white-yellow bloom of mountain avens, a hardy arctic shrub. Even though it's small, it could be like over 100 years old. It's pretty good at surviving harsh conditions. Tiusinen and his colleagues set out to census which of the many local insects visit mountain avens by summer and help with the pollination. So they planted 2,100 sticky flower lookalikes as traps and identified stuck visitors by their DNA. Two-thirds of all local insect species visited, but it was one particular fly, a relative of the humble housefly, that showed up most often in those spots where the tundra shrubs had successfully set seed, meaning more flies appeared to be a good thing for the avens. The study appears in the Proceedings of the Royal Society B. Here's the bad news. A 2013 study found that the Arctic flowering season is shortening. The numbers of fly pollinators is down, as is the number of visits by those fly pollinators, which could be bad for mountain avens and beyond. One could expect that also the other pollinators or flower visitors visiting the mountain avens could get more uncommon and even become extinct in the long run. Meaning shoe fly could spell trouble for the life of the tundra. Thanks for listening. For Scientific American's 60 Second Science, I'm Christopher Intagliata. <laughs>